Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 130. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Tricks 120 to 132. Hey, trick number 130, we're going to see how to create a three-dimensional database. In particular, we're going to look at the uh, uh, databasing aspect where this field in this table needs to look to another table. And if that other table is expanded, then we the drop-down data validation list here will also be expanded. So we're going to have three separate tables from this one, category, tournament, and year. Let's go over here. And this works in 2003 and 2007 versions, but not earlier. Let's um, highlight the whole table, and I'm just going to um, convert it to a table. In 2003, you do Control L. In 2007, you do Control T. My table has headers. Click OK. What's so awesome about this is now as we come down here and start adding new records, in memory, there's a named range for this table. So if we use it in subsequent data validations, it will automatically update. Let's do the same thing here, Control T. And then the blue is around the OK, so I hit Enter. I highlight this whole range here. Actually, you don't even need to do that. You just, as long as there's no data touching the table and it's a complete table, you can Control T. And it guesses completely right. And then Enter. Notice it says my headers, and that's the blue one. Now let's go over here. I'm going to do the same thing to this, Control T, and then Enter. Now let's add data validation. I'll highlight the first cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions for data validation is Alt D L. And we're going to go to Settings. We want to say List. And then we want the source. And look at this. We don't even have to use that table nomenclature like I've showed you in some other videos. Just highlight that, and it will know that that's a table. Click OK. Let's highlight this next column, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then Alt D L. We want to allow list. And the source range will be this is a tournament. So we'll get this tournament table. And then click OK. And finally, we'll do our last column. In uh, 2003, you could also go to the data menu and then data validation. In 2007, you can go to data, and there it is right there, data validation. Alt D L. I'm going to click Tab to get to that drop down and type L to get to the list, and then Tab. Scroll over, and I need my last table for years. Click OK. Now let's see how this three-dimensional database works. And this is a huge database. If you uh, control down arrow, you can see it's like 250. Control up arrow. Now let's go over and um, well, let's look at this pink one right here. OK, so it's got one, two, three, four, five, exactly like that over in that other table. What if we uh, typed um, white here? Oh, white is a color. Um, what if we typed a black? It says, oh, it's not in the, um, it's not allowed because we have data validation. Now, you actually, we could have put a cool message here, but this gets the point across. I'm going to click Escape now. Let's go over to our table. So if you were using this and you were entering new records and you had a new category or a new tournament and you forgot to go add it to the other table, right? that message would come up and you'd be like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And you'd scroll over. You click on this table, and Tab is how you add a new record, Tab. And then you type Black, Enter. Now let's go over and see if that works. Sure enough, there it is. That is, uh, in essence, what you do in Access with uh, three-dimensional databases, having the relationship between different tables. Let's try it here. We only have Tournament 5. I'll go over here, hit Tab. We have a Tournament 6, Tab, a Tournament 7, Tab, a Tournament 8, Tab, a Tournament 9. And now let's go over and see if that works. Sure enough, all the way down here. Now let's add a new record to the bottom. Control down arrow. Tab, 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 right? And so this one is pink. And this one is tournament nine, tab. And this one is 2005. And we lost um, $5,000. That was a bad night. Now uh, one other thing. 
just as an extra bonus in this video, that was a that was three-dimensional databases. Um, let's we want to calculate an average, and I'm going to show you the d average function works, which works in all versions and is a great function if you have database. The only trick to the d average, since we want more than one criteria, we want three criteria. Um, you have to have the field names set up exactly like they are over here. I literally just copied those. And then uh, you could actually put data validation down here too, right? Oh, it looks like I already had it there. But the criteria needs to be there. And then you just do the, the D equals D average. The database, oh, we got to get the whole database. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing, including the field names field names at the top and then control shift down arrow I'm gonna hit F4 database and then the field what do we want to do? we want to actually um, add up amount right you so I'm you could put it in quotes or you could click on it if it's not near your form you say equals amount it's not case sensitive and then the criteria, and that's where the criteria comes in. This is a great little known trick if you want to do multiple criteria uh, analysis for average. Close parentheses and then enter. Now let's see the a new function in 2007 equals average, and it's an average ifs. The average range, we're going to click over here and then F4. That's the actual range of the average. Criteria range, comma. You have to scroll over here and get the criteria. The first one is going to be category. Notice there's three. This is a painful alternative. I'm going to hit F4 to that beautiful database. Uh, criteria one will be that one right there. And then we have to go on to our next criteria, comma, criteria range. And that'll be the year. Control Shift down now F4, and then comma the criteria for uh, was that tournament that I just did? I did year. I'm doing them out of order. And then comma we need our third criteria. So we we'll go over and get this. This is already painful. I'm going to highlight that whole range F4, and then comma finally we need the tournament. Close parentheses and enter. 286. And then there's, I have the uh, if, because what if you didn't, you type some data that isn't here? You can look at these versions here. But that is the uh, D average, and is the one I would use here, because it is super excellent if you have databases. All right, we'll see you next trick.